My next guest is best known for playing Emma Dale's Rachel Breckel, but in April this year, Gemma Oten nearly died after being hospitalised with a rare disease caused by too much calcium in her blood, which left her with kidney failure. She joins me now for her first television interview since her recovery. And it's a delight to see you and Thank looking you. so well now. Thank you. Because April wasn't that long ago. No, it was only two months ago that, that this all happened, really. Um, and how did it come about then? Well, uh, I'd not been feeling well for a while, to be honest, Carol, but like many of us do, I didn't practice what I preach and I kind of just put it to one side. We'd had a big funding cut um, for the charity that I'm the CEO of and I put it down Which to Which we're stress. going to talk about, yeah, about yeah. eating disorders. And I, and I put it down to stress and, and the pressure of that and then I was also doing a morning radio breakfast show. So I was getting up early, half past four, and then doing my full-time job for Seed and then auditions. So I just put it down to the nausea, feeling tired, I got stomach cramps. I put it down to anxiety and stress, in all honesty. Yeah. Um, and then I got COVID. And COVID um, unearthed this serious kidney syndrome that I had called milk alkali syndrome. And I found out in hospital that it was down to years of taking um, calcium carbonate um, through Rennie's um, and also taking magnesium. And why were you, ta why were you taking that? It's... Because when I was poorly, I was poorly from the age of 10 with anorexia. And that anorexia then led into bulimia. And I was struggling for 13 years. Um, and as I recovered, I think psychologically, and also because of the damage I'd done to my esophagus with the bulimia, I used to take Rennie's every single day. And it wasn't a high amount, but over... Why? Why would that be? Because of the acid reflux. Ah, OK. I was so scared of, of relapsing and being sick. Um, sorry to be, to be no, graphic. No, no, I think it's know, important it's not a, that people it's not a glamorous understand subject. It's the reality of an eating disorder. Yeah. Um, so I used to take those. Um, and then I started to take magnesium about four weeks before I went into hospital because, yet again, I was tired, stressed, and there's calcium carbonate in, in magnesium supplements. Yeah. Um, and I had no clue that any of this was happening. Um, but my calcium levels went to a dangerously high um, point um, and also that turns the acid base, body base, to alkali. So effectively, my body was poisoning itself and I had no idea oh, until, until the ambulance came. Really? Did somebody ring for the ambulance then? Well, no. My um, mum rang me and I'd had pains in my chest and, and my kidneys oh, and my stomach yeah. all night. And she rang me in the morning because she lives in Hull. And she said, you know, what's, what's going on, Gemma? How are you feeling? And I explained and she went, right, ring the ambulance. And I said, oh, no, don't worry, because I'm quite resilient. Well, <laughs> lots of people do that. Don't, oh, it'll be fine. It'll be, be fine. fine. It'll, it'll, it'll pass. It'll pass. She went, well, if you don't ring it, I will. So I rang 111. Yeah. Because uh, I live on my own. Um, and I had COVID at the time. Don't yeah. forget. Um, and then the next thing I know, I was, I was in the ambulance. Well, and... thank goodness for your mum. Yes, yeah, she, she's been through a lot <laughs> with me in my life, but she knows what I'm like. I'm quite tough. I'm quite sort of... You just get on with it, and she knows me, and she was just like, Jem, this is serious, and lo and behold, I was 8% kidney function on admission and 20% oxygen, so, yeah. And, you know, all of this, really, you're... How old now, Gemma? 38. 38, looking very well on it. Thank you. <laughs> um, and you said that you suffered from these eating disorders when you were a young girl yeah. and through your adolescence. But I think, it, you know, you, you were part of SEED, which is this charity which is about, you know, uh, discussing these topics. Yeah. Because they are very important and so many people suffer from these eating disorders. And that even if the disorder is stopped, what you're saying is... Mm the after effects yeah. carry on for a very long time. And I think this, this is the sad part about an eating disorder is early intervention is so key and vital. And if it was implemented more, people wouldn't be suffering for as long as they are. And, and I don't share my story, Carol, for a worries me or the violence. No, I know you don't. I, not, I share it because like I don't that. want anybody yeah. to go through what I am. And even though I've been well for like 15 years, this last year I, I found out I don't know whether I can have children. Oh, I've had the milk alkali syndrome because I was trying to do something that I thought was right, but actually it wasn't. And then tomorrow I go in for major dental surgery because my teeth are falling apart from years of, 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 of damage. And it's such a a difficult and, and 
toxic illness to battle, but it's a mental health illness. And I think a lot of people think that it's about vanity and it's about just social media. It's not. It's about, it's about a human being struggling with pain. I always say that words that hurt us can push us to stay silent and pain is always expressed. And if we don't have that hands-on holistic approach and that support of charities like Seed, we're never going to help people early enough because they have to get to crisis point before that, in, in, that help is implemented. Yeah. And waiting for the weight to change won't change what's there. Well, we wish you all the very best with the charity work Thank and, you. and everything that you're saying and doing. What I want to know is what's coming up next for you. Because um, we've seen you in Corrie. Yes, yes. Uh, recently. I, I got poor Tyrone punched. I can't believe he's back with Fizz. Um, <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, that was amazing. He'll always go back oh, with Fizz. No, you never know. She, she, might, she might come back and, and cause a ruckus. But no, I'm just, I've just found out that I've got one of the lead roles in a new whole truck play called Ladies Unleashed, which is a world premiere. And I'm absolutely delighted because I'm going back to my roots. And uh, yeah, I start rehearsing for that in September. Oh, that's fantastic. And we wish you all the very best with that, Gemma. And thank you for coming on and talking so frankly about it, and very honestly. And, thank you for you being know, kind. wishes you the best. Pleasure. Lots of love. Thank you. If you or anyone you know is struggling with an eating disorder, there are helplines on our website, so please go and have a look there. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.